Let's say in November we see a divided government again where Republicans and Democrats are forced to work together to compromise. Where do you think they can compromise when it comes to immigration, when it comes to border security, that you think we will be able to see and Texas will be able to see the most tangible results? Well, I think I think the divided government is a good thing. I think I might be a, a bit of a anomaly, but I personally like to see divided government because it forces everyone to actually work together. Um, so in that vein, if we prioritize border security and actually talk about what an infrastructure package looks like, whether it's you know more 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 wall, whether that's more technology, drones, whether that's actually funding all of our customs and border protection to their full funding limits um, and allowing for more border agents. I think we're short three to 5,000 border agents across the country. You know, solving that problem will be important uh, from, a congressional, from a congressional level. And then being able to really say, we need serious asylum reform. We need to really understand how many people should be coming into our country. Um, and we need more judges. We need to adjudicate these cases much faster. I think that there's a reality, there's an opportunity to do that. I think the biggest question mark will be who ends up winning the White House in November. Based, um, you know, there's a very specific narrative around each candidate, you know, and I think that kind of globally, one candidate is associated with very closed borders, and there's another candidate that's associated with very open borders. And so those narratives are going to drive what Congress is actually going to do, and which I think is unfortunate because it is Congress's job to actually do the bills, not the executive branch's job.